Are you a war porn virgin? Here's everything you need to know about the morally dicey yet strangely popular genre in three minutes. Humans have always romanticized war. In great literature, in famous images, and eventually on TV. Vietnam brought the battlefield into American homes. The Gulf War introduced us to round-the-clock coverage. Then, Iraq and Afghanistan showed that anybody with a cell phone and an internet connection can broadcast from a war zone. Our chunk of body. And they do. Explicit photos of Abu Ghraib prison abuse surfaced in April 2004. The French social theorist Jean Baudrillard pointed to the sexualized naked images of Abu Ghraib prisoners as a new form of pornography. The Americans are laughing. He called it war porn. One month later, an Islamist militant group claimed they were retaliating for Abu Ghraib when they posted a web video showing the gory beheading of American businessman Nick Berg. The underbelly of war had reared its ugly head and the battle in Iraq took a turn for the worse. Soon, soldiers on both war fronts began posting graphic war footage across cyberspace. There's a leg. They began editing it, and sometimes setting it to aggressive music. Like Dope, D.O.D., or even Queen. The resulting videos, also called Predator Porn, are a highlight reel of all things combat. Mortal combat. Arrests, explosions, stakeouts, firefights, killings. Like regular porn, war porn turns the human into an abject thing. Whereas the sexual act is fetishized in one porn, the destruction of the non-human enemy is fetishized in the other. Both forms of graphic material are captured by the camera with the intent of dissemination. They're crudely spliced together for the viewer's pleasure, and rarely provide context for what the viewer is watching. Yet war porn lovers come from all backgrounds. Middle Americans who love their country, business owners who think the army is cool, and soldiers. According to war porn sites and psychologists, most are men, most are sensation seekers, and in their minds, this is the real side of war. Thousands of these videos have surfaced on sites like YouTube, Live Meet, and GotWarPorn.com. They're traded and cross-linked across cyberspace the way soldiers might trade Playboy. In a 2004 case, an estimated 30,000 soldiers actually exchanged war porn for sexual porn on NowThat'sFuckedUp.com. No soldiers were brought up on charges because the military could not determine who posted the videos and pictures, but the site was shut down. War porn has a universal theme, reveling in the humiliation and destruction of the enemy. For that reason, the recent WikiLeaks video showing the death of two Reuters employees would not be classified as part of the genre. Come on, fire! There's soft war porn, X-rated, triple X, oh, man, down. and snuff-like material. Ultimately, the genre offers a skewed version of war at best, the cheapest form of reality TV. The danger in watching is that we forget not everyone is fighting from afar, that the consequences of battle are complex, painful, and real. Come on, fire!